All right, here we have Project Turbo Vanguard 20 horse. Thing's way too slow. We want to be doing 30. We got the turbo here off of a Volkswagen GTI diesel, and the carburetor off of a Harley. So we're thinking something turbo sitting like that. Pretty good look. And then uh, the carb right in front of it. So we're going to do the carburetor in front of the turbo to hopefully avoid tuning issues. Should work out okay. Alright, here we have an update on the turbo fabs cuts. We're coming, doing a whole lot of cuts, a whole lot of welding coming in here. What are you, are you happy with your work? Pretty happy, yeah. Yeah, it turned out exactly how you expect it. Pretty much. Yeah. Well, we put the link in the test. Just tacking it all up. So we're trying to get them close together. They just need to centralize here. I don't care how many cuts, how many welds, doesn't matter. They just need to go into this, so that can be welded the flange, and the turb ski can go on that. So here we have the two pieces coming together. <laughs> Little gap there, we're just gonna... Yeah, I think we can fill that. So once we get those tightened up, then it'll go on to here. We welded this together. The cross member just to hold them together so we can line them up. There we go. Let's see. Fill, 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 up, fill up one side. So here's a little tip. You got your welder on your lowest setting. The metal's kind of thin. You're still burning through. Let off the throttle. Blip it a little bit. Just to... You know, let it cool, let the puddle cool, and then you can hit it again, and that way you won't melt through. That's what the pros do. So. Got a nice, nice shot on the backside there. All right, so here we got what we got for now. But the back side <laughs> is where it's gonna make some. It might it might be a little tricky in the back side. I mean, I could fill those gaps. I kind of. I mean, they're I'm they're with weld. they're they're less than a dime size, meaning you can fill them. I'm just gonna fill them with weld. All right, after burning through probably five pounds of wire, um, manifold is mostly together. Probably gonna leak in a bunch of spots. Need to be touched up. Uh, need to grind this down more. These don't perfectly line up, so we're gonna have to cut something there and then re weld to get that straight. But I mean, it's there. Hopefully tomorrow we'll have it running. baby filling gaps this is going to be one of the intake pieces going to be flowing this way very important this is sealed properly so we're going to put a lot of bead on there we don't need any air leaks i mean a good a good rule of thumb is you can never go wrong with too much wire. Exactly. And here, if you got a gap that's real big, let's say you got a gap this big, you know, like that. If you start here, you, you weld real quick, you let it cool, it's going to make a nub. 
you weld real quick, you let it cool, you're gonna get another nub, and eventually you're gonna you're gonna make that distance. You're gonna travel the distance, and you're gonna fill that gap. Yeah. Okay. Don't don't ever be discouraged. No gap too big for this little Lincoln. No you're hole too big. To Here's the final piece for the intake here. Really nice welds in there. Really quality welds. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that should have a loose piece of metal that doesn't go down the intake. That might ruin us, but I think we're good. That's really nice. I put my finger through it and try to knock it again. Alright, starting to come together. Got some radiator hose. A lot of a lot of high temp RTV just to make sure things are sealed. Little gasket, big turbo, big carb. Uh, yeah, I don't see what could go wrong. Everything here seems pretty pretty decent. Good quality welds. Uh, this is kind of ovalized, but a, a good clamping. Make sure you can clamp until. The rubber starts to melt and peel out. That's when you got it nice and tight. Little RTV there. Even bought some new bolts here. All right, guys, uh, we're basically ready to test run. That's welded in place. We've got our pickup here. Hopefully, it doesn't rob too much oil. Um, our drain is here. We were gonna weld up a flange, but that would take too much time. We just welded it right in there. That's proper. Um, this right here going to our valve camera is our drain. Um, the crankcase vent is just kind of back here. It'll blow a little oil on the exhaust to help it smoke and make it give it that go fast, you know, feel when you're smoking fast. That's what we want. The Sportsman 500 carburetor is on here. Probably going to need to jet it way out. Now, for all you critics out there, I fully recognize that almost all of this is done horribly, if not just altogether wrong. But, um, you know, I did, we're doing kind of the best we can with minimal effort, minimal time, and results. Our ROI on results and money and time is just going to be insane on this if it starts and runs. So let's just let's prime it up and see what happens. That was with the wastegate cut or wastegate open. Now we're gonna use our strap here to close the wastegate and uh, use the other hand to clog the carb a little bit because she's running a wee bit lean and just see see what kind of sounds we can get. gauge is only showing about three or four psi but it needs i mean i can only go about half throttle anything more than that i have to put my hand over the intake some so we need to give it some more some more fuel so we're going to come in here with our drill bit kit and uh, open her up pull that main jet out drill it out a significant amount because it needs a lot more fuel and then uh run it again we'll get you a video of that all right, we're off to the lake to go test this thing out. We needed a temporary throttle set up, so a piece of wire ran through there. Got good throttle movement. The ramp closes in 30 minutes, so we don't have time to do anything proper, ever. All right, we got a, uh, a couple of decent oil leaks. Um, Carb needs to be jetted out a little more, but we're hearing some turbo noises, and we're going a little faster, so that's really what it's all about. No lanyard for safety.
All right, a couple issues we ran into, not related to it being turboed. We fixed the oil leak, lobbed some more bubble gum up in there, and I uh, hope that sealed it. Even put zip ties on these, so kind of official now. Now, one of the issues we ran into is the starter decided it wanted to start slipping. So that's basically kind of useless. Need to get a new starter. Yeah, this is nice, <laughs> nice rigging. Yeah. No cover. We did it for light, lightweight. Cools it off a lot quicker too. I wonder. I mean, all in all, a great running unit. <laughs> Works as a mosquito repellent also. Dude, that thing's a runner. All right, here we are. Um, we're kind of changing some things up. The first try with this turbo, the turbo is a lot, way too big. It, the seals are bad, so it just burned oil. And then I welded the drain shut, so it overheated it. Also burning the seals further to where just pissed oil out of it so this was a no-go it did however give us good data and that is that we built three to four pounds of boost on this boost gauge here and we did see a slight performance gain so with the proper turbo and a better setup with the oil drain being on the actual drain side not the uh, yeah. fill side it should it should work pretty good um, so we've got twin Garrett 38Rs that are going off here on here. They're from each one's from a 7.3 power stroke. So <laughs> she's gonna build a lot of boost. It'll take a while to spool, but 
we'll have a 200 shot of nitrous spraying those bad boys to get them get yeah. them turned up and uh I so, think she'll push pretty good. So the next plan is get a proper size turbo, repitch the prop, and let this thing eat. Should do a lot better with well, everything. 35 miles per hour all day. We're gonna start selling kits here in a minute. So, and we might we might put the cover back on the motor. Not sure about that one yet. We will. That's just like I don't want to do it right now. Because it'll probably have to be off when we blow a hole in the cylinder right here. Yeah. So we'll put it back on at some point. So. So stay tuned for the next video. We'll probably get to work here in the next couple days to get the new turbo in the mail and it should be ready to rip.